welcome again guys in this lecture we will download and install sqlite studio okay so just to see all this data inside the database so this is very simple just uh, go to the down uh, google and uh, uh, say sqlite sqlite studio i mean sqlite studio uh, and hit enter you will get this uh, first link sqlite studio.pl so here i think it will detect your computer so for me it is uh, it has detected that uh, i am using windows if you are using mac then it should be working uh, i mean detecting your pc as well so for me now this is uh, download and just click this uh, download button and uh, uh, sql studio will get downloaded into your pc so once uh, this is done uh, let's uh, wait for that okay okay so it is downloaded let me go to the uh, folder here here it is sql studio 3.2.1 in uh, like uh, as of now so extract to sql studio here extract here and you will get this folder and uh, copy this folder or you can just cut it and uh, go to your c drive uh, where it is uh, here it is c drive and go to the program files and keep this folder here okay so in my case i have it already in my c drive so i'll just skip it or i'll cancel this so here it is uh sqlite studio here okay so when you open this sqlite studio folder you will get all these files and come to the bottom and you will get this sqlite studio application okay this is the exe file for the windows so just uh, what you have to do is just right click and send to desktop okay just uh, if in case if you want to uh, use it for the you know in future so that's why let's uh, uh, send it to the desktop uh, there is no any installation here okay so just you you just need to just uh, double click it and open it let me go to the desktop here and open this one this shortcut okay all right uh, so you will get this kind of uh, ui uh, go to this database okay so uh, you get this option add a database okay select this and uh, uh, this database type is sqlite 3 in our case so the file should be the db.sqlite3 what we have seen here okay this should we should load this file in that uh, you know here so let me click on this plus button and uh, let me go to the uh, de desktop here it is it is my uh, project and we have the db.sqlite3 let me open this one and click ok ok so now it has created db db0 because uh, one db is already exist uh, like it is my previous session but uh, this in your case you will see db right click on this db and connect to the database okay so it will open all the tables uh, in your uh, you know database so in our case we want to see the uh, category right so we just added some categories here just click double click on this category underscore category and you will get uh, this is the stru structure of our uh, you know the db i think uh, i moved something here right okay so this is the structure of our table and this is the data um go back to the structure tab okay i hope i did not do i i mean i did not mess up anything here anyways so let me go to this the uncommitted structure modification you cannot browse or let me close this one let me close this okay again open and uh, here we have the data okay so uh, uh, see you can see all the uh, data is here all right so this is the name description image i mean image path and the slug okay so in future if you want to see any data you can just come here and 
see it okay usually we do not use this uh, sql uh, studio often but uh, you, we can use it okay so all right uh, in the next lecture we will continue okay so thank you